Welcome everybody, I'm Jay Hart Ellis, and today we'll be answering the question of what comes in these Pyandonian bottles that you can fish up from the waters of Somerset. Somerset is an island, it's completely surrounded by water, lots of ocean water. Get some worms and go fish there, and he fished up a whole bunch of Pyandonian bottles. And what's in them? There's a way to get the motif style, the Maumur motif style, the Pyandonian style, same thing. And so what I've done is I have 161 bottles and we're going to see what kind of the intrinsic value of these is. So I'm going to open all these. I do have a wealth evaluator add-on that will help me figure out what the value of these is. So the total value of all of these, 161 at 48.72, this is using Master Merchant and Wealth Evaluator add-ons, is 784,000 gold. So this is a big investment. I'm going to open all these up and we'll hopefully have more value at the end here than we start with. So I'm just going to open all these up and we can see what we get. You get Sea Serpent High, that is a style map for the motif, and Ta, not a good way to start. So I'm just going to open all these up. Oh, really, really fast. I got a Maces. Pyandonian maces. We'll see how that works. I have not learned any of these on this character. We'll see what else you can get. Powdered Mother of Pearl, really valuable alchemy reagent. I expect to get quite a bit of this. This is going to be a large chunk of the value used in Artaeum Takeaway Broth. Oh, and Clam Gall, this is used for the Artaeum fishing recipe. Helps improve your chances of getting the rare fish. In the game, it's also used for crafting things like the artist palette. Okay, so hopefully we'll just keep going along here, and by the time we get through, hopefully we have more value and can come up with a good intrinsic value. 161 bottles is hopefully enough of a sample size. <laughs> oh, find the name bows. Getting pretty lucky so far. These are worth 30 to 40,000 gold each, quite valuable. I think this is lucky so far. Continuing along. More Powdered Mother Pearl. Two of these. If I open two of these in one, it's definitely worth it. Two again. Awesome. Get a sense of what's in here. Oh, a Pine Indian Axes. Now, I've heard different rumors about, like, once you've learned these, maybe you don't get them anymore. So maybe, maybe that's true. Might not be worth testing. Might not be worth the risk. Maybe you just open them on a character that hasn't learned them, like I haven't here. Which pine in the end belts. Awesome. So far, this is going better than I anticipated, especially without all the powdered mother of pearl. Pine in the end belts. And I've heard multiple ways of saying the, the, the word pretty well. Lots of different variants for every single syllable in this word, so just bear with me. Uh, Bose motif. Really good so far. Down to 130. More Powdered Mother of Pearl. I don't have Crap Bag or anything, so this will just keep everything in my bag as we go through, and then I can do a Wealth Evaluator and see what the intrinsic value here is. Helmet's motif. Cleaning, cleaning up here. Opening more and more. I say actually, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, or up to seven counters. I realize I have a counter. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Get my counter up there. Continuing to open up a bunch of these, getting lots of Powdered Mother of Pearl. It seems to be about the best way to get Powdered Mother of Pearl if you need the Artem Takeaway Broth, which is really good for stamina. Stem, stem users use that, gives max health, max stamina, and recovery. Health recovery and stem recovery, so it's really good. 
And then sometimes these just aren't really worth anything at all. Double Cuda. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Though, even getting double Cuda, it's not worth the four or five thousand gold I paid for this. But it's interesting to get that. Oh, boots. Oop, that was the same one I before. Down to 90 left. Sometimes getting a lot of nothing. Maces. Lots of powder mother pearl. Double clicks. <laughs> so the big question here is what's going to be the total value at the end and what is a bottle really worth? Ooh, chest. Chest definitely the best one here. Happy to get that. Add to the counter. Forty-four left. Started with one hundred sixty-one. Helmet, awesome. Drop rate is actually a lot higher than I thought it would be. Boots. Belts. Swords? Wow. <laughs> Getting a string of them. Now, I know on a character I had before, I just had some really big dry spells. So I wanted to get a really big sample size here. Bows. And there might be things that affect the drop rates. I'm just not sure if learning it actually does impact it. Even getting all of these, it may not add up to our original value. I think it will be a little bit extra. Shields. Down to 12 left. Six left. Last chance. Okay, and we're done. So I've opened all that up. See what all we have here. Ended up getting... 16 chapters, which was a, a good chunk of them. And now, the, the real test here is what is all of this worth according to MM? Kind of what is the market value of this? Oh wow, so <laughs> this is funny. So the original value here was 784,000. That was at about 4,800 gold per bottle. The total value after opening them all was 817,000, and this may have been lucky. This may be 
This feels representative, though. I think this is a large enough sample size. Maybe getting something like chest ended up boosting the value a bit. And we've got a lot of clam gall, got a lot of powdered mother of pearl, which is nice, and got 16 of the motif chapters. So this was 16. I started with 161 bottles, so that was about a 1 in 10 chance of getting a motif chapter, and maybe that is what the drop rate is, is a 10% chance. So total value, 817,000. All in all, I added about 30k of value by opening the bottles. So that does mean the intrinsic values based off of what I got here for the bottles is about 5,000 gold per bottle, which is about what they sell for on the guild traders. So surprisingly, markets were efficient in that, in that way. So right now, there was a character copy for PTS. So I'm going to go on PTS and open up about 100 more bottles. And we'll see if this is representative through that as well. And then and we'll see if it holds. So we'll be right back. I'm back. I'm As a bonus, I'm here on PTS. I have another 112 Pyandonian bottles that we're going to open up here in the same values. And so 545k for estimated value. That's 112 times 4800. So we're going to open these up and again see what the total value is at the end. Shields right off the bat. Kind of lucky. And we'll just go through here. Same deal. We'll see if it holds up. Intrinsic value of about 5k per bottle, or if we get more or less than that here. Shoulders. So in the first batch, it was about a 1 in 10 chance of getting that. So I'm expecting to get about 11 motifs. Or maybe we got lucky with the Powdered Mother of Pearl. Lots of times you just get garbage. Or at least not enough to make, make it worth the bottles. Swords. here, opening more bottles. It would take a long time to fish these up. You will only get a few of these per hour. I got these from the guild traders. I did not fish all these up myself. So if you need, if you need the motif, oh, gloves. then you may just be better off getting them from the guild traders instead of trying to test your luck and get them on out of the bottles themselves. Mace is here. So far it is holding up about 1 in 10 chance. Legs, one of the better ones to get. Boots, back to back here. And again, we'll see if our beginning value, beginning inventory value is more or less than our ending value. You hope that you get more value out of these than you put into them. Bows. Seventeen left. You do get a few mats here and there. It does add up to a little bit of the value. Or if you just want to go fish all these up yourself, that's one way to do it. You can get these in Somerset. 
Daggers. Whew. Almost towards the end here. Last one. Last one. Okay, there we go. So we have opened that up. We got another nine. So we actually got two fewer than I was expecting. But that's just going to how it is. That's going to... It's going to be how it is statistically. So total wealth here bags some um, 463,000. So if you went out and spent 4,800 gold per bottle on this batch, would have lost out on value big time, big time. But it kind of gives you a sense of what this is. On, on average, kind of averaging that out with the first batch, you're looking at about an intrinsic value of... 4,800 gold, which just happens to be the MM value. So if you can get the bottles on the guild traders for, say, 4,000 gold each, and you want to open those and you want to deal with the things that you get out of them, it'll be handy if you have a craft bag so you can just keep all of the materials that you get, and then you can just sell off the motifs or use the motifs yourself, then you can, you can make out ahead if you're buying them for about 4,500 gold or less in the current market and this is on the pc na so values are going to be different for these motifs on different servers but at least it should give you a relative check on that so total motifs from all of we got we got 16 on the first batch and nine on the second batch so we got 25 of the motif chapters and that was with 161 and then 112 so we got 25 five motifs out of 273 bottles about one in ten so that's kind of what you can expect going forward hopefully this was helpful and instructive I'll let you know what's in the bottles and what the value is intrinsic value and I look forward to fishing and what you can get out of that so good luck with your bottles good luck fishing in somerset you won't get very many of these but it will add up uh, give me a follow if you have not, and stay spicy.